Now it's going to start with the second Lego Man exercise. Um, I've opened up uh, the second file here and you can see it's quite similar. We've got the same Lego Man in bits. Um, if we look at it initially you can see that uh, there's an arm missing, a hand missing and a leg missing. As well as that uh, things are a bit out of scale. Uh, so we're going to have to use a few more tools this time to assemble this guy. So we'll start again in our top view. I'm going to start by making sure I've got my object snaps turned on. I'm going to hit move. I'll move this point to my grid zero. There you go. I've zoomed in just to make sure I've clicked correctly and zoom out. I'm going to hit rotate. Let's just type that in. Start at this center point. I want to snap onto this straight line here. You can see that. Hold shift and rotate around. Um, now this body overall uh, is going to be our starting point. So what we're going to do is use that as our reference for the scale of the uh, Lego Man. Um, you can see here in the side view these this leg bit is already uh, correctly aligned. It just needs to be put in place and scaled. So what we're going to do is uh, first thing we need to do is ungroup this. So we'll hit uh, Control Shift G to do that. There we go. Uh, I'm going to move this up. And again, because I don't have any measurement references, I'm just going to do this uh, scaling sort of by eye. So I'm going to hit Scale. I'll start the scale in the center. That's really important. Um, if I start over here, you'll notice it, the object is going to grow that way. However, if I start on this center line and click out, it's going to grow around the center. So if we remember from last time, this little edge was on the far right, was a little bit further in than the torso. Um, that looks okay. I'm just going to use my move command here. I'm going to turn off my grid snap and just snap this straight up by holding shift. Check that in perspective. That's all good. Um, that looks okay to me. Um, I actually think what we had was this was lining up with that. So to do that I'm just going to hide these objects because they're in my way. Select them Control H and to scale this accurately I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to select the object, I'm going to hit scale. My starting point has to be on the grid. So I'm going to say it is right here, right at this midpoint here. And my end point is right here. Reason being, I'm going to turn grid snapping off now because I don't, I want it to snap just here which isn't on the grid. Okay. No, that's snapped incorrectly. I'll just do that again. End. Okay. It's not picking up the right point, so I might have to turn around in perspective and just make sure I'm selecting correctly. I want to select this point right in the middle, and I want to select this point right here. Okay. I'm going to turn off my snapping. And just do this by eye because it's going a bit weird. Okay, there you go. And that's close enough. And we can see that that's pretty good. Okay, uh, next thing we'll put on is the head. Again, the head looks to be correct uh, in alignment, however, it's not correctly positioned. So the first thing we're going to do is position it on this center line. So to do that, I'm going to hit move. I'll zoom right in. I need to find a midpoint. Mid. So you see when it highlights mid for me? Or oh, sen. Sen's good. Sen means center. That's what I want. And I want to put that onto the center grid line. So to do that, I turned on grid snapping again. I'll snap that on. Okay. Now what we need here is this line here, which is the internal edge of the. Uh, socket, this line here, this area here, 
to line up with the outside edge of this. Uh, to do that, uh, we'll try scale that again from the center. So right till we here, uh, zoom in and let's get point, that's fine. Quad, that means the outside edge of a circle, so that's good. And we want to turn off grid snapping. We want it to scale right just to this edge. Uh, actually, we need it a bit bigger. Okay. And that looks okay. I'm going to move that to position more accurate. We'll check that in perspective. That looks okay. still looks a little big to me. I just turn grid snapping on. I'll try to scale it again. Let's try an object snap here. And get that just on that line. Okay. And you see that looks pretty good. unhide, control alt h and have a look what we've got left. I'm going to do this leg, so let's do that in the top view. I'm going to rotate that around straight and I think we have the foot upside down, we do. Okay, that needs to rotate right so that goes flush with the leg joint. Let's rotate that. Let's pick a straight edge, hold that and shift and that'll give us a straight revolve. Okay, uh, again the gumballs are not aligning quite right, so I'll just click that white thing and go align to object. There we go. This obviously needs to be a bit bigger. And from memory it was the size of the leg in the previous model was it was snapped there and then it fit perfectly. So what we're going to do is gonna turn on X-ray. No, that's a bit, a bit crazy. Okay, I'm turn this off for a second. I'm going to hit scale there to there. Then I turn it back on. Um, sorry, I'll do this scale with it on scale. I'm going to click here to what am I looking at in here I want that to get a bit bigger still snap to the end there. Okay, and that's perfectly correct. And that one seemed to have worked. Okay, so we've got one leg. Uh, in this case, if we remember, that needed to go down. Now this has gone out of alignment vertically, so what we're going to do is we're just going to rotate, uh, so we're just going to rotate, rotate this again by selecting this point and this point and holding shift. There we go. Uh, that may have happened during the scale operation, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so we've got one leg, we need another leg. This is where building around the origin helps. So what we can do here is click that leg, hit mirror. We want to mirror it around this center line. So make sure we turn grid snap on. I'm going to click here, shift click and there and you'll notice that the second leg comes up perfectly in line. Um, using mirroring can be really handy, it means you only have to model uh, half of what you usually uh, need to. Okay, next thing we need to do is scale this arm up. So let's look in the top view, let's roughly scale that up just a bit because it's obviously too small and see how we went. 
turn off grid snapping. That was pretty good. I'm just going to scale it once more. Again, when we scale, we need to click one point, then a second point. Okay. Uh, that's good from top view. From side view, it looks okay. Fantastic. And we'll do the same with this hand. Oops. Undo. Let's move that across. Have a look at what this hand is doing. Now it looks to me this hand's all sorts of out of whack. So what we're going to do is just look in top view. I'm going to move this to here. I'm going to hit rotate. And try to snap it there. We should have the correct angle to match the arm. Um, so what I did there was uh, snap the arm just here and I just tried to align both straight lines together using the rotate tool. Uh, we can put that sort of in the socket now. I think it's a bit big. Uh, so I'm going to just move this point here to here. Um, so I'll just type move. I'm going to right click on this end point and I'll move that just there. Yeah, it's definitely too big. Uh, so we'll hit scale. I'm just going to do that. It's not a good idea to do that in perspective. I'll do that here. I'll just have a look at how big we are. That looks a bit better. And we'll just have to move that again. Again, I'm moving it right out so I can access that point where I need to snap, which is right there to right there. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. That looks pretty good. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to hit mirror with both of those selected. Again, shift click to select. Hit mirror. Uh, grid snap. Up here. Shift and then click once more. And we have our Lego man all fixed up. Now to lift him up again, we select everything. Uh, hit rotate type in rotate and bring him up. Um, there you go. Uh, that's complete um, and you can pose him again like in Lego Man 1. Again these legs look a little bit low maybe. Lift those up a bit. Looks a bit better. Um, and you might need to muck around with this one a little bit to get it just right, but um, by the time you're done with this, you should have mastered the moving, rotating, scaling um, tools. Alright, thanks guys.